I'm gonna be so late. I don't have any clean socks. You know what, I asked you if you wanted me to wake you up, but you said, no, Mom, you're hovering. I'm 14 now, I'm not a baby. I can handle it on my own. I can still hear you. Yeah, well, I'm not trying to be I need clean socks. I'm gonna miss my bus. Did you do the laundry? I suggest the next time you can't see the carpet in your bedroom, you do your own clothes. Okay, well, a simple note would have been fine. I just bought these boots, I need socks. Did you pack a lunch? No, I didn't have time. I'm gonna miss the bus. I love you. Wait, oh, just hold on. I... Your socks! Wait! Wait! And there she goes. Great. Abby? What are you doing? Hey, Mr. Bryant. I'm late for school. I'm going right past it. Oh, thank you. How's your dad? Oh. I haven't seen him in a while. He lives in Connecticut. Ah, uh, hitchhiking. My friends and I do it sometimes. Guess it's Conway, huh? Everybody knows everybody. Hey, Abby, uh, so I was thinking maybe, uh, Hitting Fall Festival tonight. Don't know. Like, everyone's going, so. Oh, them a reason not to. Oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Still could be fun, though, you know? Mm. Liz, too, obviously. Brenda, Jacob's parents are out of town. Party tonight, and Neil's gonna be there. <laughs> Neil, by definition, is super hot, so uh, I'll have to check with my mom. Just tell her you're going to the festival. I'm not gonna lie to her, but then she'll say no. I'll ask, okay? Ow! <sighs> What the hell, Miranda? Stop talking to Darren. A, I can talk to whoever I want. B, Darren's a jerk. You can have him. It's a perfect match. Well played. Hey, Abby, sweetie. Mom? Yeah, I'm still on my lunch break. How are your feet holding up? They're killing me. Thank you. This is really sweet. I know. That's what moms are for. I, I've got to go. Okay, love you. See you after school. Well, my parents are totally cool about it. And Tammy said she can pick you up. Cool. I'll text you when I get home. Oh, I got to go. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Wait, wait. Like you could use a ride. Yeah. New boots. I'll find in. Okay. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Abby. You can drop me off at Grant's Grill. It's just a few miles. Do you know where that is? I can't say that I do. You've never been to Grant's Grill? It's it's a left of the next light there. It's left here? Yeah, uh, do you mind if I stop at the store real quick? Sorry, I just don't want to backtrack. OK. Can walk from here. Hey, scream or try to get out again. I'll blow your brains out or slit your throat. Lean forward. What? Lean forward! Uh, Keep your eyes closed. 
Close your eyes. Please let me go. Shh. I promise not to say anything. Shh. Why are you doing this? I'm really sorry. I know that sounds insincere. But I am. Please let me go. I, I, I promise I won't tell anyone. Shut up! Damn it! Where's your phone? I had to do this, so you know what happens if you don't obey. Do you have plans tonight, or am I going to be making dinner for two? Call me back, please. Please, God. I never call you. Forgive me. But I know you're here. So please don't go. Please don't leave me alone. I can't be alone. You don't need to pray, Abby. So, I know this isn't a great situation, but I am going to figure out something more comfortable. Why do I need something more comfortable if you're going to let me go? You should know that I'm really good with guns. I uh, served in the army. Served in a lot of battles. Won a lot of medals. A lot of heroic stuff that I'll tell you about another time. You should also know that I belong to a militia. Old war buddies. And if you ever try to get away or turn me in, my friends will kill your entire family. What time was that? She was finishing up some work with a few of her friends. I'd say 10, 15 minutes, then I saw her leave. A lot of the kids were talking about the festival. Okay, thanks. Let me know everything's okay. I will. Hello? Hey, Liz, it's Xenia. Is Abby with you? No, we were supposed to get together, but she hasn't returned any of my messages. She's not home. Did you see her get on the bus? She missed the bus. She texted me and said she was walking home, even though her feet were killing her, but... Uh, so she didn't go to the festival? Not that I know of, but she wouldn't have gone without me. Why? 
What's wrong? Nothing. Just tell her to call me if you talk to her, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Happy. Oh, there you are. You just don't have your keys. And you know what? You need to give me a call. We're opening this right now. I know you had a day, but it got worse after you left. I swear, if they don't hire more staff, I'm ready to quit that place. What's wrong? Abby didn't come home from school. What? Uh, nobody's seen her. She's not answering her phone. She always calls me back. Let's not panic. My son did the same thing a couple weeks ago. He was hanging out with some girl. His phone died, but he was fine. I'm in a driver. She's a teenage girl. I'm sure she's fine. She was supposed to be home three hours ago. This isn't like her. I'm gonna- Xenia! Just call me if she comes home. What can I do for you, ma'am? I'm looking for my daughter. She hasn't come home from school. She is uh, 14 years old. She's not answering her phone, and her friends haven't seen her. How long since she left school? Uh, it's, it's been about four hours. She was walking home. I, I, I just, I was worried about any kind of accident, anything involving a 14-year-old girl. Well, I haven't heard anything in the scanner, but I can put a bolo out for you. Uh, be on the lookout. OK. It's usually the first step. You happen to have a photo of her? Oh, yes, uh, right here. Perfect. Just give me a sec. Dispatch, this is Daniels. Hey, Mary. Oh, hi, Zanya. Hi. I've been meaning to call. Patty canceled for Saturday, so I'm I I'm sorry, Mary. Have you seen Abby? Abby? No. Has there been anyone near the house? Not that I saw. Is everything okay? Abby just hasn't come home from school. Just let me know if you see her, all right? Okay. That admit help? Yeah. I'm overreacting, right? I get like this, I get neurotic when things are just the, the slightest bit out of my control. Abby tells me that all the time. <laughs> Oh, man, that cop must have thought I was crazy. How many kids, you know, teenagers, they don't come home from school right after school, right? I mean... She's going to come through that door, apologize, and you're going to hug her. And then you're going to yell at her and tell her never to do something like this ever again, and everything will be back to normal. Oh, she will be so grounded. <laughs> Liz. Mrs. Hernandez? Mm-hmm. Abby still hasn't returned any of my calls, and it's going right to voicemail. We've all been texting her, but nobody's seen or heard from her. This isn't like her at all. I'm really worried. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Mrs. Hernandez, is there any reason Abby would have run away? No. No. She's happy. We're happy. There's no issues. You're divorced? Yeah. Um, her her dad lives out of state. I, I, I called him, he didn't answer. They have a good relationship. He wouldn't have taken her if that's where you're going next. Look, Mrs. Hernandez, I know this is hard, but we see situations like this. There has never been a parent ever who thinks their child would run away. Abby wouldn't have run away. Is there anyone else in her life? Maybe somebody online? Anything that could explain why she hasn't come home? No. Abby doesn't keep these kind of secrets from me, okay? She she always calls me back. Something is wrong. Something, something is terribly wrong here. Teenagers always have secrets. 90% of the time, we locate these kids within two weeks. Secretly in love, unable to deal with a bully at school. It's her birthday in a few days, and I, I gave her some money to, to help her in the house. The money's still there. She would have taken that with her if she had run away. She would have packed some clothes. She would What is it? Oh my gosh, she has new, new boots. I, I brought her socks to school, but she said that her feet were still hurting her. 
Has Abby ever hitchhiked? No, no, I tell her not to. She knows not to, but her friends... Oh, my God. Maybe a feet hurt. So why didn't she call me? So I won't be here all the time, okay? If you get thirsty, just flick the toggle and it'll trickle water. Look, Abby. You've been really calm, and I, I didn't expect that. But I think you figured out that I can't let you go. has been missing since walking home from high school yesterday afternoon. Local police are asking anyone who may have seen her or have any information on her whereabouts to call 911 immediately. Use this one. The one they're using on the news is uh, I don't know, a couple years old. I don't even know where they got it. So that's a good one. Mr. Hernandez, state police need an article of Abby's clothing that haven't been washed. Or for? Uh, for the search dogs. <sighs> right. You said Abby received a text message just after you both left the school? It's okay. Yeah, it was a little weird. She seemed kind of distracted by it. You think she was meeting someone? No, she would have told me. It might have been nothing. Just something I remembered as odd. We'll need authorization to receive a transcript of her text messages and emails. Of course. Anything. Senya, honey. Mrs. Hernandez, I'm Agent Carrera. Thank you for coming so quickly. I know you've already answered a lot of our questions, but we'll need a statement from you as well. Of course. Have you gotten the cell tracking? Movement speed. We're confident that she got into a car. Someone went dead on Pike Hill. We're concentrating our search there. OK, good. Social media? Um, we did a quick scan, but nothing out of the ordinary. We're gonna check other platforms. Ex-husband. Yeah, he's out of state, but, but he'll be here soon. Local talk to him. He hasn't heard from Abby either, and we're confident that he's not involved. Anyone else living in the house at this time? Oh, no. It's just us. multicolored striped sweater, black leggings, and black boots. She was last seen leaving Kentwood High School on foot. Based on cell phone records, we believe she may have gotten into a car at Abbott Road, three miles south of Bassett Lane at 3.24 p.m. Her signal was lost at 3.42 p.m. near Pike Hill Road at mile marker 72. We're looking for anyone who may have been in that area. We're asking for volunteers to please hand out missing person signs in these neighborhoods. We're asking for local companies to please display these posters. If anyone has seen Abby Hernandez, please contact the police immediately. If anyone has any information that could lead to any insight on her disappearance, contact the police immediately. My daughter, Abby, is so kind. She is bright and um, 
has a beautiful smile. She is a wonderful writer. She loves to read and play chess. It's her birthday in two days. She is loved. She is needed. To whoever took her, please let her go. Please let her come home. Thank you. So I'm gonna be removing the tape from your eyes, but I can't let you see my face, Abby. So I'm gonna be wearing a bit of a mask, you understand? This way, mm -hmm. you won't remember what I look like. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, and there we go. Okay. Ta-da! I know, I know. But you know what? It's almost Halloween and when in Rome. Let me see. I, I thought that might happen. One sec. Out, out, there we go. There. That should do it. Do you feel better? Well, you could at least talk to me, Abby. I mean, I would have got a pet if I knew I was gonna be doing all the talking. All right, just- No, no, no. Okay. Stop, please. I'm sorry. What do you want to talk about? You said you were having a bad time at work. What happened? I don't know. A lot of things. Like what? Am I supposed to believe that you actually care? It must have been something terrible because you don't seem like a bad person. Well, it's not just one thing. It's a lot of things, you know? A lot of trouble at work with the guys. Like what? I don't know. People can be pretty mean, Abby. I don't even think they know my name. They judge me. I mean, I'm sure that you think I'm pretty mean after all this, but... Really, Abby, once you get to know me, you'll see that I'm not that way. I can be a good friend. I can love someone. And I can share things. What about your militia friends? They don't take me too seriously either. Abby, it's hard to find nice friends in this world. Thanks. For what? For listening. I have something for you. So, Abby, I know that shock collars are really only for dogs. And I don't think of you that way. Honestly, I don't. But if we use this, you don't have to wear a gag in your mouth. Listen, this thing is really only activated if you stimulate the vocal cords, okay? As long as you don't scream or make a lot of loud noises, you shouldn't have a problem, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Wait. Did I miss my birthday? Abby, you didn't tell me you had a birthday. It's on October 12th. I don't know what day it is. I don't know how long I've been here. Your birthday happened last weekend. You sure are loved by a lot of people. It's all over the news. Whole county is looking high and low. I feel bad for them though. I mean, <laughs> they don't realize that I took you to a different state. I mean, they are looking in all the wrong places. Did you know there's a guy out there who actually thinks that you were abducted by aliens? 
I mean, how nuts is that? Don't get me wrong, I know that aliens exist. They do, and they're real, and they're out there. But they still have hope. You can keep those. I'll be back, I'm gonna go make us some mac and cheese. It's physics, Abby. It's all physics. Metal can't burn at that temperature from jet fuel. And the pancake effect only works if equal detonations are on all sides of the tower. And no one has yet to explain Tower 7. I mean, the videos do not lie. Anyway, this room is only temporary for now. I got something better in mind, but it's not ready yet. It's really nice of you. Unless, of course, you want to stay strapped to the bed. No, I, I don't want to stay on the bed. I didn't think so. You've been very good, Abby. That's why you're being rewarded. What's the matter? You didn't like your hot dog? I'm really good. I'm just not that hungry. You don't need the dinner. You're not getting any dessert. Just forget it. Come on, take a look. Well, there it is. Take a look. Go on. I know it's not very big, but now you don't have to stay tied down on the bed. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Um, you said at work nobody knows your name. What is it? I can't tell you that, Abby. Otherwise, I'd never be able to let you go. But how can we be friends if I don't know your name? After all this, you want to be my friend? I mean, you'd be the only one I have at the moment. Why don't you just call me Master? <laughs> just kidding, how creepy would that be? Let's make one up. I have a feeling I'm starting to know how your mind works, Abby. So why don't you tell me what name's on your mind? I, you'll think it's weird. Try me. Felix. Felix? Huh. Why Felix? It sounds smart. Sophisticated. You think I'm smart? And it feels like the name of someone who's nice. Well, I like that very much. I want to be nice to you. I'm looking for you. Don't you give up, okay? Because I am going to find you. I promise.
A lie detector test? Do you really think I did something to Abby? This is a multi-agency investigation. It's bullshit! She has been gone for a month! What is it that you said to me, Detective Dunlap? Um, 90% of the time when we find these kids, we find them within two weeks? Well, it's been four. Where the hell is she? I wish she was a runaway, Mrs. Hernandez, because by now, chances are we would have found her. Then why isn't the FBI convinced that she was abducted? They have to keep all possibilities open. That's how they do their job. Oh, really? Well, if they were any good at their job, my daughter would be home. Whoever took her is very smart. The FBI, the state police are just as frustrated as we are, so bear with them. Cooperate. We need them on our side. Do they really think you're going to fail a lie detector test? I don't know. I swear sometimes I think that's what they want. I mean, not the, not the police, the, the FBI. Some of them are, they're just... They're so great and they're so determined to find her and then there's others that they just want any kind of answer. So they can cover their ass for not being able to find her. You know, Tess, I was, I was horrified at the idea that she would have uh, run away or was meeting someone online that she got pregnant and now I just, I wish to God that that was the case so that at least I would know that she was alive. We're doing everything we can. We're going to find her. She's going to come home. We are going to find her, Red. Then how do you explain the missing airplane if it was a miss? It's being held. And all the passengers, 15 years later. It's deeper than you could possibly imagine. Every president knows about it. What about the messages the passengers left when they're about to hit the Pentagon? Those were faked. Get out of here. My uncle died on 9-11. I can't work around him anymore. He's nuts. I'm done. Hey! Yeah, boss? Yeah, hey, listen, uh, you're a good worker. I like having you on the floor, but you gotta stop with some of this conspiracy crap. What are you talking about? I'm just having a conversation. 9-11, flat earth aliens, just keep it outside the workplace, okay? Some of the guys are getting tired of hearing it in the lunchroom. Truth isn't a conspiracy. Just turn it down a notch, okay? You should see the new billboard. It's a nice photo of you. Missing person signs everywhere. The problem is, Abby, is that they're all new. They haven't stopped looking for you. And we need them to stop looking, okay? So, what I want you to do is write a letter to your mom. Tell her that you're okay and you're sorry for running away. I think that'll make her happy, you know? I mean, let's be honest. At this point, she doesn't even know if you're still alive. Okay. Well, go ahead. Oh, and Abby, I'm gonna read every word of that letter. I mean, I am taking kind of a risk here, you know? They are gonna look at that letter under a total microscope. But if they don't stop looking, 
I can't give you any more freedoms. And I want to. Okay, let's see. Come on. That's really good. You have a way with words, Abby. Prison, I am never going back. Do you understand? Do you have any idea what it's like over there? It feels like putting a bullet to my head. Is that what you want? No, wait a minute. You want me dead? Hey, listen. If you wrap me out, Abby, it's like killing me. Do you understand? No, 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 no. You've got one chance. You better do this now. I'm serious, Abby. It's now or never, Abby. You've got five seconds. No, 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 no. You've got three seconds. One second, Abby. Do it! Never again. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hi. How are you holding up, Sanya? <laughs> I don't know. I slept some last night, so I guess that's something. How are you? Well, they accepted our case through another outreach program. It's international, and sometimes the kids are taken overseas. I've already been in touch with them. This is a different organization. I don't think it's going to hurt us to have as much help getting our daughter back as we can, do you? No, no, I know. You're right. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm doing everything I can, too, you know. I know, I know you are. I just, I'm... So angry, and I feel so useless. And I, oh my god, <sighs> this one is not a hoax, but, but her writing style is different. She writes more lyrical than this. Dear mom, first of all, I, I want you to know. That I'm okay. I'm doing fine and I'm healthy. I know this has probably been scary and hard on you and dad as well. I miss all of you terribly, my friends and even school. I'm so sorry. I can't tell you where I am, but I will soon, I promise. Nor can I tell you why. 
Not yet. Please know I love you and I'll see you again. Someone made her write that. More than likely, yes, but there's no way to be sure. What? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, are, are we back to her being a runaway again? Mrs. Is that what you're saying to me? Mrs. Hernandez, we can show you a dozen cases where a child would just disappear. Why? Please tell me why she would run away. Pregnant, tension, bullying. I've got a long list. No, 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 we've been through this. I know what I think it is. It's that you don't want to accept the truth that my daughter was kidnapped because you are not any good at doing what you do. Zenya. What? Please. It's OK. It's been two months, and her face has been seen all over the country. And this is the only lead that we have. We're doing our very best, Mrs. Hernandez. But you need to prepare yourself for a different truth based on the leads that we get. OK. OK. What about a press conference? Just to let people know that she's still alive, it would keep her in the news? That's not a good idea. If we go public that we received a letter, it could actually hinder our investigation, at, at least not until we've exhausted all efforts to trace its origin. She's right. So that's just it? Don't misunderstand me, Mr. Hernandez. We won't stop looking for her. This case keeps me up at night. 14-year-old girls don't just disappear without a trace. Oh, no, they don't. There's always something. We can only work with what we have. I'm sorry. Remember, I told you that I was working on something else? Okay, stay here. I think you're really gonna like this. Well, it's not the Taj Mahal, but you'll have more room in here. I've lined it with uh, three-inch foam, so no one's going to be able to hear you. And you still have to wear the shock collar. Can't be too careful. But, Abby, I did put a hose in here, so you'll have some fresh air. This is really great, Felix. Thank you. You're not just saying that? No, I really mean it. Yeah, well, we'll do some more things in here that'll make it feel like home. As you can see, I got you some books. I heard your mom say in a news conference that you're an avid reader. I am, yeah. I didn't know what you liked, so I just got the classics. Thank you so much. And clothes. These are interesting. World War I Long Johns. Someone was selling them at a garage sale. What about shoes? No shoes. Not yet. Really sweet to have done this, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I needed that today. Residential stickers are from the FBI. They get mailed out in bulk from the post office. They said that the letter was sent from about 50 miles away, but you know, they also said that whoever sent it could have driven that far to mail it, so. But in what direction? Yeah. Who else do we have? Um, we're recruiting some other students, and we have a ton of volunteers. Did you know that the billboard was paid for by a local restaurant in town? Let's be sure to give them a shout out at the next press conference, okay? <laughs> press conference. What press conference? It's like pulling teeth to get any kind of attention these days, so. Oh my God. You know, it's possible. It's possible that this was written in the first few days and they just mailed it to me now. Don't go there. She's alive. The letter proves that. Yeah.
<laughs> Listen, I know I didn't really decorate much, but I did get you something. Ta-da! <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's okay, I know you didn't have time to shop for me. It's a cookbook. Because you said you don't know how to cook. How are you ever gonna get a man if you don't know how to cook a meal? It's really thoughtful, Felix, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I thought we could learn together. Some good recipes, I thought you could cook, I could cook, we could do it together. It'll be fun. Yeah, I really, really like it. No, Who Diana, leaked the letter? We don't know. Who leaked it? We will find the leak and we will stop it. My phone is blowing up. I don't even know these people. I know. Do you know what they're saying on social media? They're saying that she got pregnant and that's why she ran away. I know. We will get to the bottom of it. They're saying horrible things about her. And we will continue to assert our belief that she was abducted. And you really think that's going to change their minds after all of this? The full contents of the letter now leaked to the public, verifying earlier reports that Abby Hernandez has apologized to her mother for running away. Officials stressed that Abby's abductor could have forced her to write the letter to hinder their search. But that, of course, assumes that she was abducted at all. Xenia, will you repay the city of Common for the cost of their investigation? No comment. Did Abby have a secret boyfriend? How long have you known this was a hoax? There's nothing more that I can say. I'm sorry. Just, you just leave us alone. Stop it. This is Anya. Do you have any idea how much time and effort my family and I spent looking for your daughter? I hope you both rot in hell. Just, just leave us alone. It's been a while. I'm sorry for that. But I know you're with me. Because I wouldn't have survived this long without you. It's just the two of us. So please don't leave me. Please don't forget about my mom. I always felt bad that I missed your birthday. I heard you're a great chess player. I'm okay. You're being modest, Abby. That's a good quality. Don't lose that. I bet you were uh, one of the most popular girls in high school, huh? Not even. I don't have many friends either. They're misfits. What about you? Were you one of the cool kids? Actually, I was bullied a lot in high school. I got arrested once after I made a bomb threat. Hmm. Okay, there is. You sure you want to do that? What? I'm just saying. You're trying to psych me out, Abby. Go for it. I knew you were smart. Abby, I'm telling you, you are gonna be the CEO of a company. Yeah, right. Well, what do you wanna do? You'll laugh. I wouldn't ever laugh at you. I wanna be a hairdresser. <laughs> Seriously? See? No, 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 no. I, I'm not laughing. I'm just surprised. I think it'd be really fun making people look their best. What do you do? It's nothing that special. 
It just pays the bills, you know? I want to start my own publication. <laughs> you think I'm being funny? No. I'm sorry. It's just... It's hard to take you seriously with you wearing that mask. I know. <laughs> I know. It's so silly, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I want to take it off. I want to show you who I am. But I'm protecting you. So that you can let me go. I hope so. Soon. You keep saying that. It's been three months. I know. And I know that you're hurting. You don't know the hardest part, though, do you? When I saw my mom at school that morning, she said, I love you. I didn't say it back. I was embarrassed for some stupid reason. I felt bad. But it didn't matter. Because I would see her when I got home from school. And I would tell her that I loved her then. Abby, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> You see my face. How can I let you go now? I want to be able to see your face. But you can't. I already have. See? Isn't that more comfortable? From now on, when I'm here with you, no more blindfolds. No more being tied to the bed. No closet. We can do things together. We can watch TV. Cook. I really, really like that. I can't take the collar off you yet. You understand why, don't you? I can't seem to get it out of my head that she might not be coming home. I know in my heart that he made her write that letter. Which means that she was taken. <laughs> Which means she... She might be dead. You've been so active. The moment you slow down, it's inevitable to lose hope. Get buried in guilt. But God has given you strength for this, Xenia, so that you will not give up. So that you will not stop until just one person Perhaps the man who took her hears your voice and makes the difference in bringing her home. I don't understand. If he's given me such strength, then why is he so silent? I was at a local mosque. I had a meeting with the imam. This was there. Several of them. He told me. A delivery boy translated them and passed them out to mosques throughout New England. Father Reynolds just yesterday reminded me that all the local churches are still praying for Abby every Sunday. Ignore the media. Ignore the chatter. God isn't listening to them. He's listening to our prayers. We have not given up on Abby. Neither has he. Oh, whoa, 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 it's Sorry. Abby. Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> no. no, no, no. You're not getting away that quickly. Come here. <laughs> Come on. Oh, 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 let me see. <laughs> Pancakes. Yes.
place, of course, where I can be outside. Nothing's ever good enough for you. to wash these in the tub, but these are already clean. Mm -hmm. A guy I know brings these up for me. That's good. So you just cut a little piece like that. That's good. Mm -hmm. You see how it crumbles? Mm -hmm. And then we just put a little bit into the baggie. Yeah, two or three grams. And voila, ready for sale. You seriously never smoked weed before? No. It'll make you feel good. You know, you had uh, one of your dreams last night. It was different. I couldn't see any other faces. I'm forgetting what they look like. I have this recurring dream too. Have I ever told you? It's, it's not always the same either. See, sometimes it's a shark. I looked. Did you have to drive right through here? The hell you did? Look at my car! It was already dented. You just hit it. No, 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 no. There are dents all over the place. Uh-uh. I'm calling the police. <laughs> oh, give me a break. <laughs> and I also see you met Dottie Brown. <laughs> we deal with her a lot. Every week she's filing a lawsuit against the cops, the city, or anyone else who crosses her path, really. It's her word against yours, so I don't expect this to go too far. Thank you. And I'm fully past those things on my record, officer. I have no wish to quarrel with the law anymore. Well, that's good to hear. Now, says you've got a few firearms? I do. Legal. Oh, I understand that. But due to the terms of your previous release, we have to confiscate them. Just until all this clears up officially. She's filed assault charges, so... She's lying. Well, it's just temporary. You can hand over the guns voluntarily, or we can send an officer to the house with a search warrant. Your call. Yeah, of course. I'll fully cooperate. I appreciate that. Makes my job easier. Okay with this guy? Yeah, he's harmless enough. Just don't mention the earth being round. It should be all right. <laughs> I 
Howdy. So that's the last of them. All right. When do I get the guns back? Well, assuming the charges are dropped, shouldn't be more than a couple days. Kalishnikov? Genuine at that. That is a hell of a piece. I'm a collector myself, so don't worry. I'll make sure these are well taken care of. I appreciate that, officer. Well, all right, that should just about do it. Sorry to put you in this position, officers. Ah, appreciate your cooperation. Have a good day. <laughs> they didn't take all the guns, did they? What did I do? Just keep your head down outside. doing these things. One day, when they stop looking for you, you can do a whole lot more. been taught to believe scientific evidence only supports the round earth hypothesis. Ships disappearing beyond the horizon, satellites circling the earth. People believe that because they're lazy. You've never studied the azimuthal equidistant projection. It's all mathematical. 50 kilometers from zero latitude longitude at 28 degrees minus pi equals distance. Two minutes, that's the rule. And I had to drive quite a ways, but it was worth it. Tonight, Abby, we dine like kings. Hmm. Reject pile. Don't be so hard on the rejects. That's us. I never said I was a reject. I said I was a misfit. What's the difference? A reject is a label that someone else gives you, and misfit you wear with pride. You know you have a way with words? I'm serious. Like your essay about your trip to San Francisco. How you talked about the prisoners at Alcatraz. Most people wouldn't have empathy for them. Especially at your age. It just seemed like a sad place. I know those people did bad things and they deserve to be there, but it doesn't make it any less sad that someone's life leads to that. That's because you're a kind person. 
And you're the smartest person I know. Trust me, I know smarter people. Felix? Yeah. Pick that flower for me. Oh, hey, a word. Hey, boss. Hey, look, uh, I'm sorry to do this, but uh, the company's cutting back, and I'm afraid we have to let you go. I'm getting fired? I'm afraid so. So serving your country doesn't count for anything anymore, huh? I feel bad about no, that. No, you don't. We both know what this is about. I'm getting canned because I speak the truth. It has nothing to do with that. The company's bleeding money, OK? Two other guys are going down with yeah, you. Yeah, right. Hey, what unit did you serve in anyway? Huh? It was all BS, wasn't it? You were never in the army. You were never awarded any medal. What did I tell you? Someone was listening, Abby. Someone outside the company. And when you speak the truth, you get screwed. Now, I have an idea for what we can do to make some money. But it's a little outside the box. I'm going to need your help, all right? I'm going to need your help because you're artistic and smart, and you're gonna help me. Help you with what? You're seriously gonna print money. We are gonna print money. First, we just have to find an image on the internet. The scanners won't copy currency. I think I found a hundred that'll work. Take a look. There. What do you think? I don't think the resolution's high enough. I don't know how these things work. Find another image that'll work. Come on. I think this one might be all right. OK, that's good. Save it and print it. OK. But wait, before you do that, increase the saturation. Mm, it's probably too bright. Something like that? Yeah. All right, save it and print it. No, that's too dark. Try again. I think a lot about people who say money isn't everything. You know who those people are, Abby? People who have money. And why is the government the only one allowed to print it? To control us? And we are helping the economy by spending this money. I understand if it were billions or even millions. I mean, we were helping devalue currency. But this is nothing. This won't even make a dent. To them, this is nothing. Absolutely nothing. But for us, this is everything. So we're actually doing the right thing because we are putting all this money back into circulation. I mean, what's the difference between this and someone getting something free from the government for doing nothing? At least we're working for it. Am I being fair? Am I crazy, right? Well, here you go, ma'am. I'm paying cash today. <laughs> I mean, can you tell the difference? No, it looks really, really good.
Now you know my name. What are we gonna do, Abby? You're gonna tell people who I am. I won't. I won't! I don't believe you. Why don't you believe me? Because you hate me for what I do. Stop, did. stop. I don't, I, I don't hate you. Whether you believe it or not, I don't. It's weird, but we have stuff in common. And yes, I am mad that you took me. And yes, I want to go home. And yes, I want to see my family. But I, I, I trust you. And now you, you need to trust me. I no longer have to call you a stupid name. Like Felix. You told me Felix sounded smart. But not as smart as Nate. I don't like Nate. People call me Kibby. Okay then, Kibby, we have a lot of work to do. Thank you. So, we had a morning brief with the FBI this past week. They're still on the case, so yeah, but um, as you can imagine, their resources have been limited. And Detective Jacobs? Just me. All right. I uh, put a post out on our page looking for volunteers to distribute flyers. I got three responses. Um, why was the billboard taken down? That was paid for by a local company. They made that decision. You've been trying to raise more money. I've talked to the reporters, but um, they have either made up their minds or lost interest. Xenia, it's, it's important that you keep her story alive, but you can't keep knocking on doors of people who've already been vetted. I will knock on every door in New England if I have to. We're getting complaints. Really? You yelled at a business owner because he wouldn't put up a new poster? I asked him to put it up outside. Why would he say no to that? Uh, that's his choice. I mean, if I don't keep fighting, I'm just going to lie down on my couch and die. I don't care who I offend. And causing a little ruckus now and again, it might be the only thing that keeps her name in the news. Well, you can't just react emotionally. Would you treat it any differently if it were your daughter? Then help me keep her story alive. More than seven months ago, on October 9th, 2013, my daughter, Abby Hernandez, was taken against her will. There was incredible support from not only the people of Conway, but the entire state of New Hampshire. And for that, I am, I am eternally grateful. The letter Abby wrote to me proved that she is still alive, but you, the press chose to focus on only one aspect of that letter. And because of your actions, people turned on our family and on Abby herself. They stopped looking, they stopped caring. Abby has been missing for seven months and I am asking you to keep writing about her. Please keep talking about her because if one person hears it, that might help bring her home. Kimmy! Kimmy, I'm just saying it doesn't have to be one or the other. I believe in God, I, I believe in a higher power, but that doesn't mean evolution can't exist too. What if that was part of God's design? Faith and science can coexist is what you're saying. That's what I'm saying, yeah. We can agree on that. <laughs> I 
still can't figure you out with this game. How long have we been playing this? What's the date? July 20th. It's July? I can't tell if you're baiting me. I see what you did there. But I bet you didn't see this. Don't underestimate me, Abby. A lot of people make that mistake. Same. Queen to King Seven. Not bluffing. They'll search everything. Okay, Abby, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna clean everything. We are gonna sanitize this entire place. Do you understand? The kitchen, the bedroom, the living room, the shipping container, everything. We cannot leave one cent of your DNA on this property. Do you understand? And then what? What do you mean, and then what? Where are you gonna take me? I don't know. Kibby, I've done everything you've asked. Abby, I can't. You know this. Kibby, please. Come on. No, come here. We have to clean. We have to clean. Come on. We have to start cleaning as soon as we can. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Here, take this. There can't be an ounce of DNA anywhere. Nothing. Nothing can be traced back to me. These are the same clothes you were wearing when I just put them on. What then? I'm sorry, Abby. I'm sorry for doing this to you. I'm sorry for ruining your life. Please forgive me. Please don't hate me for this. Okay? I can't go to jail. You've been misunderstood your whole life. No one has ever taken you seriously. No one has, has ever listened to you except me.
me a promise. You owe it to me. Please, leave my body someplace where it'll be found. I want my mom and dad to have closure. Please, please promise me. Hello? Despite being so afraid and the horrible things Kibby did to me, I knew my only chance of survival was to make Kibby see me as a person, not an object. In an odd way, I began to see him in that way too, which is why he believed we were friends. God was with me. I know that. So was the love for my mom, my dad, my friends, and my family. Who I knew were out there praying for me every day. When I returned to the valley where Kibby took me, I was told that the people there couldn't remember a horse like the one I described. Angels come in all forms, 